Hey, greetings, my good friends. Larry here with Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Hope everybody's been doing well. Today, I'm going to be doing the review on a Chinese uh, pen. Uh, the Wingsong 601. Uh, it's a blue vacuumatic and uh, with a fine nib. And I will show you the Parker 51 as well and uh, I'll talk a little bit about the uh, the difference between the Chinese and the Parker pen and uh, do some writing give you some measurements and weight uh, and tell you my thoughts on the Wing Song uh, 601 uh, so uh, uh, let's get right to it so it comes in this box right here and with the box reminds me of the Lamy Mountain Pen. So that's kind of interesting already. And it's got a lot of stuff in here. Interesting stuff. Little card like the Lamy does inside. So that to me is interesting. And then you have a, a few contraptions here. And they're both are the same and you have uh, some grease in there and of course the pin and you have the instructions which is all in Chinese it tells you how to fill the pin um, and it shows you down here how to clean the fountain pen So, let's get right to this. Okay, here's the Wing Song 601. Okay? And it does say 601. Oh, Chinese writing. In the back, you're going to have Made in China. So, here's the Wing Song 601. It's got a jewel on top. And then a double jewel, jewel on the bottom. Nice blue looking, deep, beautiful looking blue. And here's my Parker 51. So it's a lot longer than this Parker. Oh, let me get this one out too as well. And as well as this one. And these are both jewels. But only on the cap on the Parker. Plus, let's turn them around look at the clips. Let's get a good close in look at these. So here's the clip. Here's the part of 51. And it's got a jewel on the clip here. And here's the uh, Wing Song 601. They almost look identical. Uh, in fact, let me just show you a different part of 51 right here. Look at these uh, clips for yourself. And then you'll know what I'm talking about. Looks like almost exactly uh, like the same clip, a little bit longer clip, a little bit uh, more featherish down here, but uh, pretty close to it. Uh, double jewel, one on each end, one on the cap, one on the barrel, where the part of 51, just on the cap. Um, so, let's pull off the cap. The pin does post securely. And as you can clearly see, there's an ink window right here. I like that. That's pretty cool. And uh, it's got a nice grip se section. There's no step off to the grip. It's just one complete unit and large uh, grip section. So that's really a plus as well. So let's check out the 51 Parker. Uh, there's no ink window on that. Uh, let's compare these. But as you see band there on the Parker and a band there on the Wing Song. The Wing Song definitely has a bigger uh, grip section. Uh, more girth on that grip section than the 51. Both hooded nips. Okay. So, uh, now this one on the Parker got the converter on it with a bag that you suck it in 
and this one has the blind cap that you unscrew that has for the uh, suction to get your ink your uh, vacuum right there it's got a nice vacuum to it and while we're at it these little creatures right here they fit on here this section right here you have to line it up real right there as you see it's on there perfectly so you can twist off this part if you want to get out and get a good cleaning you're able to do that or re replace the suction part inside the bag so it, it comes in pretty handy and for some reason I have two and they both work uh, so I'll put the blind cap back on and you have some silicone grease when you need it. Let's go ahead and get the weight measurements on this. This is going to weigh in at 19.5 G's. That's the weight. And we'll go ahead and get some measurements on this pen now. And we'll do it in inches, okay? 5.42 inches. When you post it, about 5.83 inches. So, there you have the both of them, the wing song and the wing song here and the Parker here. So what I want to do next is uh, ink this pin up and see how she writes. So I'm going to use some uh, ink from Federalist Pins and Paper. Is that Edelstein? Edelstein. Edelstein. I'll get the word right one day, right? Edelstein Moonstone ink, which uh, is pretty cool ink. Uh, you know, my, my first reaction when I saw the ink was like, eh, it didn't do much for me. But after I used it for a while, then it kind of started setting in that, uh, hey, it's pretty cool ink. So uh, while it's out, I thought, you know what? Let's just go ahead and use this ink. So... Uh, I'm really anxious to see how this uh, pen performs and we will soon find out all right and I love this little uh, nib uh, this uh, vial holder that a friend of mine made me here we go put that little there in there and just very good. Let me look here. Uh huh. All right, we'll do it again. Twice. And as you can see, the window, nice, full pin there. So, got a nice feeling. So, that's good. So far, so good. Wipe that off. Let me put the blind cap back on. Set everything aside here and uh, let's have some fun doing some writing. Uh, I have some high expectations of this pen, but maybe I have set my, my expectation too high on this pen, but we'll see. The wing song. Okay. And this is the fine nib. OK. 
Okay. It's got good ink flow. Nice and steady. Good flow. We'll check out the witness of the nib. This is a fine. And it does have some nice witness to it. Now, what's cool about this ink is to me it looks like a number two pencil. So that's pretty cool. So back to the pen. We'll try some reverse writing. And you do get a different line variation, so that's pretty cool. Let's try a down stroke and a cross stroke. And a little bit more pressure, and you're not going to get any difference as far as line variation, but the same size. So we just try. For those who like to write small, this pen is very adequate, it'll do the job. So, nice metal cap, nice sturdy clip, like I said previously, double jewel, I do like that deep, rich, beautiful blue jewel on the top and on the bottom of the barrel, it fits well in the hand, uh, again the grip, very nice, it can accommodate large hands. So, and again, I do like this ink window. It really helps a lot. So, I bought this pen on eBay. This pen cost me $14.49. And it didn't take that long to get here. Uh, so, now, you're talking $14 pen. Well worth the money, in my opinion. What kind of pen that if you lose it or break it you're not out a lot of money but on the other hand if you're looking for a decent dependable uh, fountain pen writer and you don't have a lot of money at this time or you're really not sure what pen you're looking for you should be right up your alley it's a decent writer if you like these kind of pens you know uh, is it a Parker 51 by no means <laughs> not even close uh, but for what it is, great pen, around 14, 15 bucks. It's worth the money. Yeah, decent pen. So, there you have it. The Wing Song Chinese pen 601. This is the Lake Blue Vacuumatic. So, well, that's all I have for you today, my friends. Stay sane, healthy. And uh, before I go, I think I'm going to have to get on my guitar a little bit today, or my drums. What do you think, Mr. Announcer? Sure, why not? Uh, so, uh, I'll have to fill you in more about guitars later. used to have quite a few of them. But uh, for now, be safe, God bless, and wash them hands. And as always, friends, don't text and drive so it's peace and it's love all the way, baby. Bye-bye.